Distinguished guests, may I please have your attention. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to the 248th anniversary of the United States Independence. Please join me in welcoming Charge d'Affaires ad interim, Nina Maria Fight, outgoing Deputy Chief of Mission, Laura Hruby, and Deputy Chief of Mission, Daniela Di Piero, along with the Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Minister of the Republic of Moldova, Mihai Popshoi, and the American Chamber of Commerce in Moldova's President, Alexander Gozun. The United States Marines will now present the colors of the United States of America. Please allow the Marines to enter. Lysikova will now sing the national anthem of the Republic of Moldova. Limba noastră o cumoară în adâncură fondată un și sing the national anthem of the United States of America. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and
Esteemed guests, Charge d'Affaires ad interim of the United States of America, Nina Maria Fight. Buonasera. I'm delighted to be here. I arrived yesterday in time for this splendid celebration. I look forward to meeting you and working with all of you as we move forward with U.S. Moldovan goals. And let me now introduce and offer an enormous thank you to DCM Laura Ruby, who has been instrumental in delivering so many of the milestones that this embassy and the US and Moldova have achieved in our bilateral relations over the last three years. Thank you. Thank you so much, Charge Fight. And good evening, Deputy Prime Minister Popshoy, distinguished guests, and dear friends. It is my privilege to welcome you all to this celebration of the 248th anniversary of the independence of the United States of America. Tonight we gather not only to honor our own nation's history, but also to celebrate the enduring friendship between the United States and the Republic of Moldova. As I reflect on three incredible years here, I am in awe of the, pro the progress we have all witnessed. The historic opening of EU accession negotiations last week is just the latest confirmation of my and our optimism in Moldova's future. And our bilateral relationship has never been closer. So much has happened since just a year ago when we last gathered here. We work together to bring 21st century skills to young Moldovans and safeguard Moldova's critical digital infrastructure. Just one example is the new CyberCore Institute at the Technical University of Moldova, which will train the country's next generation of cybersecurity professionals. This spring, we celebrated with North Carolina Secretary of State Elaine Marshall 25 years of the North Carolina-Moldova partnership, which was also selected as the top such program in the world this year. We have expanded this partnership to everything from the video game industry to defense to collaboration between our medical schools. We also inaugurated the beautifully restored Assumption of Our Lady Church in Kaohsiung in partnership with the Museum of Fine Arts. The church and its historic frescoes now stand as a testament to our shared commitment to preserving Moldova's rich cultural heritage. Our collaboration on energy infrastructure has yielded numerous bright spots in difficult circumstances. We supported Moldova's winter heating plan, continued to help the transition to green energy, and aided Moldova in diversifying its gas supply, ensuring more affordable and stable energy prices. In April, we committed to build a new 400 kilovolt electricity transmission line connecting uh, Strashen to Gutinash in Romania. This project will strengthen Moldova's connectivity to the European energy grid, delivering real energy security. We have stood by Moldova's national army as it has contributed to security, peace, and stability in places like Kosovo and Lebanon that so greatly need our collective efforts to maintain peace. And June brought the certification of Moldovan peacekeepers during the multinational uh, peace shield exercise, affirming their continued readiness to serve in international peacekeeping missions. None of this work would be sustainable without strengthened democratic institutions. Despite a torrent of foreign and criminal interference that would have challenged any democratic nation, Moldova held successful local elections in November. We are honored to support the important work underway to continue to develop Moldova's democratic culture by fighting corruption, by increasing transparency in the courts, by enabling free and fair elections, and by empowering independent media. We discuss these achievements and more at our bilateral strategic dialogue in April in Washington. Moldovan Americans who have contributed so much to our nation also gathered there for their 10th diaspora conference. And in May, 
Secretary of State Antony Blinken visited Moldova for the second time in two years. He told President Sandu and Prime Minister Rechian that the U.S. commitment to supporting Moldova endures, as demonstrated by his announcement of up to $85 million in assistance to stabilize Moldova's grid and align with EU energy standards. This brings U.S. assistance to Moldova to $2.5 billion since Moldova's independence, including $775 million since Russia's barbaric full-scale invasion of Ukraine. This assistance reflects our unwavering support for the aspirations of Moldova's people for a brighter future. But it was not us that brought Moldova to this moment to the threshold of finally taking its rightful place in the European family. That was you, all of, excuse me, all of you, <laughs> the people of this country, the people of the Republic of Moldova, who took to the streets, took to the courts, and took to the ballot box, most importantly, over the last decade to strike a blow against the forces of corruption. At the end of the day, Moldova's course will once again depend on the will of its people, and we welcome the chance for the world to hear their voice in October's referendum. I am delighted tonight to be here with Charge d'Affaires Fight, who will lead the U.S. mission to Moldova while we await the confirmation of our ambassador nominee. And as I prepare to depart later this week, I'm also delighted to welcome our new Deputy Chief of Mission, Daniela Di Piero. With their outstanding leadership and the dedicated work of our U.S. Embassy team, I am certain that the U.S.-Moldova relationship is in excellent hands and will only continue to grow stronger. I would like to thank the fantastic Embassy team that organized this event for all of us this evening. And we're also deeply grateful to our sponsors, whose logos you will see during the slideshow later, and to the American Chamber of Commerce in Moldova for partnering with us on this event. Thank you to all of you for being here. And thank you, too, for the warm hospitality and the friendship that you've offered to me and to my family over the past three years. You and Moldova will remain forever in our hearts. Happy Independence Day, and may the partnership between our countries continue to thrive. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Deputy Prime Minister Mihai Popshoi. Dear Charge Fight, dear outgoing and incoming DCM Ruby and DePiro, dear friends, I stand before you not just as a foreign minister, but as a proud former head of US Moldova caucus. And even though I may not be in parliament anymore, that title will stay with me forever. I will be forever a promoter of strong ties and trusted partnership between the people of the Republic of Moldova and the people of the United States. And you know well that the generosity of the people of the United States when it comes to the Republic of Moldova has truly been remarkable throughout this over 30 years of independence. The two and a half billion dollars are only part of the enormous support that the Republic of Moldova has received throughout these years, but especially in the last few years, when Moldova and our neighboring friends, Ukraine, have been going through extremely difficult times. The United States has been there for us. And today, though it may be odd to hear, the Republic of Moldova is stronger and more resilient than we were two, three years ago. Our adversaries hoped that we will crumble, that we will not be able to resist the energy crisis, the inflation that led after it, and the repercussions of the barbaric Russian aggression in Ukraine. But we have resisted, and since then we have not only muddled through, but we've actually achieved meaningful progress. 
be it in energy security. Today, Moldova is no longer dependent on Gazprom for its gas supply. Moldova is building high voltage lines to connect itself to Romania and therefore the European energy grid. Moldova has a vibrant civil society and independent media. And that is in large part thanks to the generosity and the constant support of the American people. And in, need I remind you the 100 kilometers of road that we are still using today and it is still in mint condition that was built over 10 years ago and we still wonder what is the secret sauce of that piece of infrastructure since it stays in mint condition when some other newer roads unfortunately do not seem to resist the test of time. But this is a testament of our partnership. And the people of the Republic of Moldova will be forever grateful to this partnership, to this friendship, because as the old saying goes, a friend in need is a friend indeed. And the United States has been there for us, and we are confident that with this support, we will be able to persevere, we will be able to advance towards the natural craving of the Moldovan people to return to the European family of nations, from where we've been ripped apart in the Second World War for no fault of our own. And now we have this enormous opportunity, and we will seize this opportunity, because we have missed far too many. We have missed the chance in the 90s, we missed the chance in the 2000s, we have certainly missed enormous opportunities in the 2010s. We cannot afford to miss any more opportunities. And now Moldova is in this remarkable position despite enormous challenges, despite huge difficulties. Moldova remains committed to be the trusted partner to being a security provider and contributing its armed men and women to international peacekeeping missions. And Moldova is committed to playing its role as a source of stability, no matter how hard our adversaries are trying to destabilize us. And yes, we have an important test this year in October, and with the support of our people, we will pass this test like we have passed many others before. United States has been there for the Republic of Moldova, and the Republic of Moldova and its people will be forever grateful for this support. And allow me on behalf of President Sandu, of Speaker Gross, of Prime Minister Richan, and all of the Moldovan people to thank the people of the United States for this enormous generosity and for being there for freedom, for democracy, and for peace. Thank you. Thank you, Minister Popshoy. Distinguished guests, the American Chamber of Commerce in Moldova's President, Alexander Gozin. Thank you, and good evening. Excellencies, Charles de Fight, Deputy Chief of Mission Ruby, Deputy Chief of Mission uh, De Piero, Deputy Prime Minister Popshoy, dear guests, ladies and gentlemen, this is the second time I have the honor to address such an extraordinary audience on the occasion of the uh, Independence Day of the United States of America. And I must confess, this past year has been quite another discovery journey for me in learning about the United States. Witnessing the support which was mentioned by the speakers before um, and continued engagement to help Moldova build its democracy, stand firm in preserv preserving its uniqueness while shaping its own prosperous European in future is truly motivating. We thank the United States for this impetus towards prosperity and democracy. A few days ago, we have concluded the inaugural AMCHAM Moldova business mission to the United States. I suspect some of you might have seen this on the social media, um, where a few of our community members have the opportunity to not only explore technological advancements and sustainability practices of the US companies, but also to embrace the American, American values so clearly uh, demonstrated and shared by the businesses, academia, and the governmental institutions, creating virtual bridges and bringing DC, Chicago, Boston, or LA closer to us. And we thank the United States for this invaluable experience and inspiration. Last month in Berlin, at the conference dedicated to the reconstruction of Ukraine, I heard compelling stories 
about the courageous people fighting for their independence and sovereignty against aggression. And I also heard the steadfast, about the steadfast support from the United States as echoed in, our, um, uh, in voices of our partners at AmCham Ukraine. And we thank the United States for having our backs here in the region. At AmCham Moldova, we consider fostering business dialogue between the countries between our countries a top priority and this commitment will continue to guide all our efforts further on. And naturally we are deeply honored to have partnered with, uh, with the, the Embassy of the United States in organizing this extraordinary event, uh, uniting all of us here today to celebrate America's birthday. So happy birthday America and happy Independence Day to all of our American colleagues and friends. Thank you. Friends, please raise a glass with us. Happy Independence Day to the United States of America. Here's to U.S. Moldovan friendship. La Multzan. Charge fight will cut the cake. Lydia Isak for more en musical entertainment. We invite you to enjoy the food and drink offerings, both indoors and out, from our generous sponsors. Thank you for coming. We hope you enjoy the party. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 